this video is from interview.com interview.com is a job portal if you're looking for a job you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us in this video i'm going to talk i'm going to talk about 10 important uh, java entry questions for freshers what is the difference between hash map and hash table hash table uh, hash table class is synchronized hash map is not synchronized because of thread safe hash table is slower than hash map because if you mark a method as synchronized there is a performance a hit when you mark a method with synchronized keyword hash map works faster because it is not synchronized one it is not thread safe neither key nor values can be null or order of the table remain constant over time both key and values can be null okay does not guarantee that order of map remained remain constant over time second question what is the difference between array list and vector vector class is synchronized and array list is not synchronized similarly vector is slower than array list because it is synchronized when it is thread safe you have a synchronized keyword in your method and it'll, there is a performance hit array list works faster because it does not have any synchronized synchronization mechanism enumeration is used to iterate and iterator is used to iterate the array list why string is immutable in java in, in, in java strings are object there are many different ways to create string object. One of them is using string literals. Each time a string literal is created, JVM checks the string constant pool first. If string already exists in the pool, a reference to the pool instance is written. Sometimes it is possible that one string literal is referenced by many reference variables. So if any of them change the string, other, other will also get affected. This is, this is the prominent reason why string is immutable. When you say string literal, I want to give you an example. Okay, one is equal to hello. Okay, so I am creating one more string str2 equal to hello. So that's what uh, the statement says. Each time a string literal is created jvm checks so when i try to create the second string the jvm checks the string constant pool first if the string already exists in the pool yes it it it, it, uh, it is already existing okay a reference to the pool instance is returned so that means here str1 reference is equal to str str2 because they they both are they both refer to the same string okay the next question is difference between st string buffer and string builder string buffer is synchronized and string build builder is not synchronized because of synchronization the string buffer operation is slower than the string builder and string builder operates faster difference between equals and an equal operator the main difference between equal and equal java is that equal operator is an operator used to check whether two different references very important refers references refer to the same instance equals is content whether the object content is same or not another important difference is that equal operator is used more with primitive data type while equals uh, method is used for object what are the different ways to create thread in java there are two ways to create a thread in java you can extend the thread class like your class like uh, extends thread okay you can do like this or you can implement runnable interface what are the difference between sleep and wait method wait method in java should be called from synchronous block while there is no such requirement for sleep method so wait should be always called from a synchronized context Another difference is sleep method is, is a static method while wait is a instance specific method on a thread object. In case of sleep, sleeping thread immediately goes to runnable state after waking up while in the case of wait, waiting thread first occurs a lock and then goes to runnable state. Notify and notify all ob object class are used to awake a waiting thread while sleeping thread cannot be awakened by calling notify method wait method is defined in object class while sleep is defined in a thread class to simply say the sleep method 
it does not releases the lock weight method releases the lock okay and sleep is like 5 seconds if you say it will hold the lock and it will be sleeping it will not do anything wait method is like it will wait for the notification from other thread what is serialization in java serialization is a process of converting object into sequence of byte which can be written to a flat file disk database or you can even sent over network to any other running jvm the reverse process of creating object from a sequence of byte is called deserialization so from an object to a stream of byte it is serialization from a from a stream of bytes to objects that is deserialization okay what do you understand by synchronization synchronization is a process of controlling the access sh of shared resources by multiple threads synchronization why do we need it when i say a synchronization for example a single method has a shared data if multiple threads are accessing that shared data using that method you need a synchronized keyword to protect that data otherwise two threads can manipulate the data and your application might have inconsistent data okay so in order to protect your shared data among multiple threads you need a synchronization process what is static in java static variables and static methods uh, you can mark a variable as static and methods as static and these two are belong to the class and not to any object or instance okay even though you you can create an object and you can call the static method it doesn't mean that it belongs to the instance it is always belong to the class this is a, a list of java and equations hope this video is useful for your java interpretation thank you and all the best for your interview thank you